to me, I much prefer pre-recorded videos. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's still you six. should probably update it because I bet I we did. are. Okay. <laughs> I think we're live. I think. Sorry. We don't know what we're doing when we go live. That's why. Are oh, we... yeah, we're live. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we're sorry for whatever you just saw, especially if you're um, watching the replay on this. Uh, but we wanted to get on because, first of all, thank you so, so much. The excitement you all have for the Quilter Sidelock has been amazing. We feel incredibly blessed by your response to it. Um, we've been working hard all day. <laughs> we probably look a mess. <laughs> um, not even just us have been working all day. Like our kids have been helping us with everything as well. Uh, they helped us build a lot of them today. We've got a lot packaged. If some of you ordered them uh, right away yesterday when we launched, yours might have already shipped because we sent some out bright and early this morning. Uh, so yeah, sorry. Our dog's walking around behind us cause he feels a little bit neglected probably today cause we've been very busy. <laughs> um, that's not food shadow. Hey, come over here. Um, so yeah. So first we wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we appreciate all of the orders. We appreciate all of the kind comments on the video and the second thing I wanted to mention, and my husband probably wanted to mention too, is that uh, we are really sorry for the confusion on where to order it at first because we did mention Etsy in the video because that was where we planned to put it That because that's where our clappers are, that's where some of my fabric is, uh, but we really uh, weren't quite so happy about the shipping options on there. And if you did end up purchasing one, you might have noticed that there is a big price difference between the different options. Etsy only offered USPS, and we really wanted to give other options because different areas, one is cheaper than the other. And so we didn't want to just be locked into having one carrier option. Yeah, so it was, it's, it was my fault because I assumed that Etsy would allow us to use multiple different, different shipping options, but it wouldn't. And so I, I think our video went live at 3 p.m. yesterday. <laughs> and so about noon yesterday, three hours before the video went live, I realized that Etsy was going to probably be a more expensive shipping option for most people. So we tried to figure out in a rush what would be the best way to do that. And um, we had a Shopify in the past and... Uh, we sort of at that time we, we had a trial period and decided to just let it expire because Etsy was working fine but look back into that and Shopify gives multiple shipping options and so we decided to go with that instead so we sort of threw everything together I'm not even joking in the last like three hours <laughs> so the the Shopify site will be getting more products on it so everything will that everything's going to stay on Etsy but it'll also be available on Shopify so if you want to buy a slide lock and something else at the same time you don't have to purchase on two different websites yeah um but yeah yesterday was sort of a mad dash to the end because we had decided that three o'clock was going to be the time and then we realized that we probably needed about 10 more hours so um it's a work in progress and we're trying to put everything together and so i apologize for the confusion because like my wife said in the video i did say go to etsy and it's not available there right now so i apologize for that <laughs> Yeah, it's been fun, though, uh, trying to get everything, you know, together. We really love all the excitement around it. So if you have any questions about the slide lock, if you happened upon this live and don't know what we're talking about, we're, um, we just launched the Quilter Slide Lock, and it is an amazing device to help you cut your fabric more accurately and safely. So we are really excited about it. If any of you want to let me know in the chat, if you want a demo of it, I did put some fabric out and everything. We don't plan to be on really, really long because we are exhausted <laughs> and we are planning to go to dinner for a date night as a treat. So, <laughs> uh, but we did want to get on and thank everyone, give you a chance to ask us any questions you might have and also, um, 
What else? Oh, to tell you about why it wasn't on Etsy, because we did feel really bad because there were a few people who asked in the comments of that video where it was because a lot of you already knew where my Etsy shop was. So uh, we really apologize for that. Yeah, so it's, this was really just sort of a quick update to say thank you for everyone, uh, for everything and everyone who has shown interest. Um, we, like I said, my wife said, we, we've been packing all day today <laughs> um, and putting them together for everyone. So we're, again, very excited that you were all excited and just wanted to apologize for my... Uh, word salad of saying that everything was going to be on Etsy when that was not the case. But but to be fair, at that time, it was all going to be on there. Uh, yeah. So Linda and Barbara have both asked, what is the slide lock? So Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and show it because it won't take long. I do want to say hi to um, Sean. I see that you're in here. Thank you so much. And I have horrible eyesight, so I just saw, I can tell his little emblem, but hi to everyone else as well. I'm just noticing how many... Uh, people are in here, so I appreciate it. That doesn't make me any more nervous uh, about being live <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to switch the camera view for a second so that I can show this slide lock. And let me see. Okay, so maybe I should move over a little bit. I don't know. It looks like it's okay, probably. If okay. you can move just a tad over. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, okay Um. so here is the slide lock and... Let me get it into view better. Sorry, this is this is uh, normal. <laughs> I thought I had it set up well, but now that I see it, it's like a little off. Okay, so here's the slide lock. And what is awesome about it, well, there's a couple features that are, is the acrylic here, you might be able to tell is, oh no, the camera froze. No, it didn't, okay. The uh, acrylic is, thicker across here so it's a quarter inch thick and let me grab another ruler here just so you can kind of see the difference in thickness you almost can't even see the other ruler there uh, but so that thicker edge and you can also tell it's a little bit brighter really helps keep the blade up against the acrylic so it doesn't come up and nick you um, I have cut myself a lot cutting, and so I'm really excited about having this wider edge here. Another thing is the handle on top, your hand is going to be up and farther away from the blade as well when you're cutting. But what you probably notice if you have not um, seen this device before is that there, the handle is raised a little bit up from the base and that's because there are springs so when you press down it pushes these bumpers through the holes across the bottom so that they can kind of grip the fabric and keep everything in place so if i put it down the bumpers aren't down and you don't have to add a lot of pressure it's locks in place so you're not going to slip and move the ruler while you're trying to cut Oftentimes with the ruler like this, if I'm going to cut the fabric, I'll place my hand down, start cutting, then move my hand up, cut some more, and move my hand up. And how many times have you been trying to cut fabric where you have your hand here and start cutting and don't move your hand up and the ruler just starts to turn and you've not cut accurately? and have to recut. Hopefully you have enough fabric <laughs> to um, get those cuts you need for your pattern. So let me show you a little quick demo because you may notice that there's not um, ruler markings across here. And that is because you're still going to use one of the other rulers you have to measure and I'll show that to you. So I haven't pressed it down so I can move nicely over, line up, and then I'm going to square up this edge. Close my blade because <laughs> I don't wanna cut myself right now. Okay, so I have a squared up edge so I can move the ruler over and then say I'm cutting um, binding <clears throat> strips and I want them to be 2.5 inches. So I'll line up my other ruler here that has the measurements on it. And once I get it lined up, I'm gonna put my hand here and then move the slide lock over and press down and 
my husband's in the way, but it's okay. Right, we're we're going to make it work. And then I'll press down and then I can cut and get my 2.5 inch strips. And I didn't have to move my hand across and travel and it held everything in place for me. Another thing that I have noticed about this is that I cut um, through four layers of fabric here and it was uh, folded. So because you got that even pressure across the whole length of the ruler when you press down, it presses and holds the ruler all the way across, you're not gonna get that weird bump at, and I'm not even in camera, I'm so sorry. It is late for me right now. Um, you're not gonna get that weird bump at the fold that you can sometimes get. And in the video I posted yesterday, I think I got a good zoom in on an example of how that happens is that if you're holding down here, up here, there's a lot of movement still in the ruler. So you can get a weird bump because it's not, there's not pressure there holding the fabric in place. With the slide lock, when you press down, it's going to press down there where the fabric is nice and flat <laughs> so that you don't get any of those weird bumps along the way. So, I mean, it really grips it nicely. Uh, are there any features I missed, hun? Because no. I know I know we added, um, or we talked about a few before, but I can't remember if I hit them all. Has there been any questions? Because I know... Yeah, I've got to answer a couple. <clears throat> um, do you want to <clears throat> put this back so people can see my beautiful face when I speak? <laughs> all right, there we go. Um, so one question is, so, and I, I apologize, I don't remember who asked the question. Someone asked if there are holes in the bottom, and yes, there are uh, 13, although only 11 of them are for the bumpers. Um, so someone asked, can you hang this up through one of the holes? Oh, okay. And the answer is no, um, for a couple of reasons. One, these bumpers, uh, when this is, you know, w when you're not putting any pressure on it, the bumpers are not... Um, they're, they're not flush, they're recessed so that you can move the slide lock around on fabric. The issue is there's just not enough room to put a hook in here between the bumper and the wood. So it wouldn't work. Otherwise you could, you could damage the plastic or you could damage the, the, bumper. the bumper. The other thing that I'm concerned with is that, I mean, as much as it is a quilting device, it's also a, a genius engineering um uh, invention and these springs are special custom springs that are tensioned for this particular application and my concern is if we were to hang this on something um, there could be an inordinate amount of stress because the w when you're using the slide lock on a plane like this and you press down the force is distributed evenly such that you are not putting any extra stress on any part of the acrylic if you were to hang it up like this for an extended period of time, you're putting a decent amount of stress on these aluminum spacers and the springs. And I, my biggest concern is that it would cause some sort of long-term problem. Um, so I, I can't recommend that. The, the only thing that I have thought about that could work, and I don't know, and maybe I will experiment and let you know if it works, but through this end right here, this is, this is solid wood, um, and it's, it's a hardwood, I may be able to drill a hole in the center of here, put in a J hook um, or an I hook, you know, whatever you want to call it, and use that to hang it on something. That could work if it were long enough and I could get it in deep enough, which I could, because there's enough wood here. Um, then all the stress would be on the handle, which, which could still be a problem because it, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I will think about ways of storing this. And the other thing you could do is if you, you know, store it upside down or if you had somewhere you could slide this in diagonally, um, sort of like a wall hanging uh, ruler holder, although it obviously have to be a lot thicker because this is about an inch thick, that could work. Um, so unfortunately, I don't have a great answer. I'm going to see if I can engineer one up and think about a way that it wouldn't put the device at risk of any sort of undue stress. But uh, right now, I don't have a good solution for that other than just to leave it, you know, on a flat surface. Our daughter's in the chat. I saw that. <laughs> um, let me see. You can come here. up and say hi <clears throat> if you want to, Lorelai. 
Sean, I think, asked a question. Oh, yeah. So, Sean, will we offer different sizes? Yes. There's a 14-inch in the works. I'm just waiting on sourcing all the parts. Um, and for those of you that may not know, um, one of our favorite features about this is everything you see here comes from an American supplier. So, the wood comes from Wisconsin. The springs are custom from a family shop in um, Wilsonville, Oregon. The aluminum spacers actually come from a custom shop here in Houston. Um, and the acrylic is from a, uh, a family-owned business also actually in Oregon. The bumpers come from a small family business in New Jersey. And the other hardware, uh, the nuts and bolts, I picked up at a local hardware store here that I have a relationship with. So this is all 100% made in America. So that also means that um, sometimes getting supplies can take a while because they're all custom made and I have to wait for them to be put together. Um, and so... You don't have to come um, if you don't want to. The 14 inch is in the works and it will come... Uh, I'm hoping that we can release it within a month, but I need to get the parts for it. I need to put it together and make sure that I can prototype it up. That it, I mean, I, ideally, it will work based on the drawings, but you just never know. So... Um, and it looks like we have a, a special guest. This is our production <laughs> assistant, production line assistant. Would you like to come and say hi? <laughs> Where are you at? Oh, there you are. So this, this is our production assistant lead, I guess, because she's the oldest of our children. Um, she is responsible for, um, in some respects, putting these together. Um, she does some quality control checks, which, of course, we quality control as well. Um, but it, it truly is, in, in a sense, a family business. Everyone, my, my son, my daughter, my wife and I, um, build these. Everything you see here has been done in-house. Um, so, do you have anything to say, Lo? No. Just no? thank you. You just want to say hi? <laughs> what? Just thank you. Thank you. <laughs> For putting you to work all day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye. Love Bye. you. <laughs> Uh, okay, so did we save this, the dimensions of this one? Oh, I... yeah, so this is um, 24 inches long by 3.5 inches wide. So it is long enough that you should be able to cut across anything um, anything that is like a, what a bolt of fabric. Um, Let me see, because I have a bunch of stuff together right now that I could probably trim just to see. Yes. That was a good question. And so, Sean, you have a good point. So, when the 14 inch comes out, it will be offered individually. It will also be offered as a set with the 24 inch. Now, as you might imagine, when it comes as a set, it will be discounted. If you buy a 24 inch now, before the 14 inch comes out, I will, or my wife will, one of us will send you a code to get the discount on the 14 inch so that you're not penalized for buying the 24 inch today and then having to pay full price for the 14 inch. So if, um, if you buy a 24 inch and you're interested in the 14 inch, we will send you a coupon code that allows you to buy the 14 inch at the discounted price, just as if you had bought it as a set so that you're not at a disadvantage for just, you know, being an early adopter, if you will. Um, but yes, so they will be offered as a set when we get the parts for the 14 inch. So um, I haven't actually tried yet what uh, Vivi, is it Vivi? So I can't see anything, Vivian I'm DeVore. sorry. And Vivian, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe when I was going through orders, you may have ordered one already. Um, there was definitely a Vivian who purchased one okay. and your last name sounds familiar. Um, Let me get in the screen. Good. Vivian asked if we think it is strong enough to trim through top batting and backing to square up and trim for quilt binding so we'll find out okay so we're gonna do this right now because you move over just oh, a little yes. bit so they can see that edge okay so this is a quilt that i need to put binding on and i'll just trim off a little bit on the end just to see so there is a backing there is batting in here i don't use a really uh thick batting it's always like a 100 percent cotton uh, and then it has the top on so we'll just see it can cut through i can use it to stabilize um up to I think we tried eight. Uh, I know, we've tried I know eight the, so far, and we've been told by some that have it that it can cut through okay. ten. So I didn't. I I obviously am not using my other ruler to help square it up, but um, I'm just going to trim off a little bit on the end. We're going to sacrifice this poor quilt just a little bit though, so it's fine. 
So it's holding in place really nicely. So I think, I think you'd be good using it to trim up. You would just have to have a way to make sure that you can square, you know, everything up with it. So there we go. All right. Was there any other questions? Let's see. Oh, Debbie, I think I, I think I saw your order as well. Thank you so much. I'm not going to remember all the names. I apologize. I'm sure um, others have as well. And we, we greatly appreciate, appreciate each and every order. Yes. Um, the other thing I will mention, I've had several, or we have had several emails about that, um, about this particular issue. Some people, because we're heading into summer, are going on vacation. So... Oh, yeah. um, if if that is your situation, if you want to buy one today or shortly soon, but you're afraid that it won't be delivered or it will be delivered while you're on vacation, you can shoot us an email at info at sobeatquilts.com. Let us know that you want to purchase one. You can go ahead and purchase one and we can put in our notes not to ship it out until July 1st or June 1st or whatever it is you need. And we can hold it here uh, and send it when you're ready so that you have the opportunity to buy it before, um, you know, if you want to do that. Um, otherwise, you're happy to wait and just buy it when you get back. That's fine. Um, we, we have been very surprised and uh, very appreciative of all the orders we have. So I have already had to place an order for more materials. <laughs> um, some of those should arrive on Wednesday. So I don't anticipate going out of stock. Um, but it could happen. It just depends on how things keep going. So, but if you if you want to purchase one, but you're afraid that you won't be there for delivery, we can hold the package for you for a couple of days, a week, a month, whatever you want, um, and then just send it to you when you're ready. Thank you, Teresa. Um, so Debbie says, is it going to be 14 inches wide or just 14 inches long? So Debbie, the 14 inch um, model will be three and a half inches wide by 14 inches long. The issue with going so wide, uh, or any wider than three and a half inches, is that the wider you get with the base, the more you lose the ability to control the lateral movement on the side. So if you had one that were, say, 14 inches wide, you'd have great stability in the middle, but you'd have seven inches from the middle to the edge, and there could be some lateral movement. So three and a half is sort of the sweet spot where you get your hand far enough away from the blade, but you still maintain incredible um, pressure so that you don't have to worry about the fabric moving. Uh, one more question. Can you have customization like you can with the clapper? Uh, for the quilter slide lock, um, I don't know, Sean. There's, there's a way I can do it. Um, I just have to think about it. So right now, we have been in the, we have all the raw materials and then we put them together. Um, once they're put together, it's almost impossible to customize that because the, the laser that I use that typically does the customization won't accommodate something that's already put together because the wood would need to have to lay completely flat. Um, and my CNC machine is gonna run into the same problem. It'd be very difficult to um, basically hold this in place so it doesn't move. I could technically customize the wood before I put it together. The problem is because of the volume of orders that we've had, we sort of need to put them together right now before we send them out because otherwise we won't be able to fulfill all the orders. So like tonight, it's possible that when we get back from dinner, I'm gonna put you know another 50, 100 of these together so that they're ready to ship out for the orders that are coming in. And if I do that, it becomes very difficult to personalize it on the back end. Having said that, if you wanted to personalize it and you were willing to wait some time because it would require me using something that's in stock that hasn't been put together, I can probably do that. Um, just shoot me an email, info at sobeatquilts.com, and let me see what I can do uh, if you have a request for that. And if you would like to purchase it as a gift, you definitely can do that. When you go into the shop to place the order, you would just put your billing address in and then have the address for where it's shipped to uh, as the person that you're gifting it to. Um, so Debbie Hocha, Ho, Hochachka, and I apologize if I said that, uh, or if I didn't pronounce it correctly. Um, we can open up shipping to Canada through Shopify 
I just need to look into the customs issue. The, the customs requires us to identify specifically by category the product. Um, because this has wood in it, um, there are some restrictions on sending wood overseas to Canada. Um, all the wood that I use is kiln treated, so it kills any of the you know bugs or anything like that. So I don't think we'll have an issue, but I need to make sure that we're in compliance with the Canadian um, laws on shipping. I hope to have that done within a week, and if so, um, you know, we will. Maybe my wife will just make a short that says we're shipping to Canada or something of that. Yeah, nature. I'll definitely make sure that everyone knows. Uh, a good place to join is my Facebook group. If you have Facebook, uh, I don't know if it's linked in the bottom of this video. I'll put it in the comments or somewhere because uh, I we decided kind of like an hour ago, like, hey, we should do an update on everything and explain why it wasn't on Etsy. Uh, so I'll make sure to add that into the video description and everything. And um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications because the notifications will hopefully help you uh, make sure to know when we are able to open that up. Yeah. Um, someone else asked, uh, and I'm not trying to get anyone else's hopes up, but I got an email asking that... Um, if at some point we would be able to put ruler markings on this, the answer is I don't know. Mm -hmm. I am trying my best to figure out a way to do it. The problem is that, as my wife said earlier, this is a quarter inch thick. It is a lot thicker than your standard acrylic that is used for, um, oh shoot, we get four new orders. Um, it's a lot thicker than the acrylic that is typically used for rulers. So your typical, um, I think I have one here. I'm just okay. going to use the green. Oh, that's <laughs> um, the typical ruler like this is a much thinner acrylic, and so it is much easier to etch with a laser. When you have the thicker acrylic like this, using a typical laser, it has to be so high powered that it actually melts the acrylic and causes problems with. Um, it's not 100% smooth, and so when you move it across plastic, you can get some sort of you can catch on the fabric. So I haven't been able to figure out how to get a laser to do it. Um, and I apologize that I'm not on camera. I'm just, I don't know how to do this. So. Um, I haven't figured out how to do a laser. I'm going to try on my CNC machine to see if I can get um, lines cut into it. My, my, my fear there, though, is using the CNC is going to cause the same sort of rough. Um, it, well, it won't be rough on the CNC, but there will be little pockets of lines for the ruler and those may catch on fabric so i'm trying to figure out how i can do it without causing any problem with fraying a fabric or cutting of it but uh, i will keep you guys updated if i'm able to figure it out um, so that you have that as an option as well um, usually if it's... yeah that's that's what i've understood too sean about the wood being uh treated uh, I just need to make sure, um, cause the last thing I want to do is tell someone we can send is Canada, send it there and then have, you know, who knows, Canadian authorities try and seize the item and ask for $500 before it gets released for testing. Um, and if you all haven't definitely go check ooh. out Sean's channel. That's the guy who sews. I realize we've just been calling him Sean. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, so I absolutely love his channel. He goes live Saturday mornings. I think it's 7 a.m. Central, I think. I apologize if I'm wrong, but he always interviews other creators. So if you are looking for other uh, quilt channels to watch, uh, definitely check out his channel. And he also has some really fun podcasts that he does where he shows everything he's been working on. So uh, definitely check out his channel. Uh, I don't know how to link anything. <laughs> in here um but i will put it down in the comments later if you need a quick way to be able to click on it and um and put that in there i don't go live often i think i have a total of four times on my actual channel uh so yeah but he has a great channel definitely check it out if you're looking for some other fun channels to check out with quilting um I'm linking to it right now. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, we were happy to... 
I keep trying to tell people that I don't like talking all that much, which I know is a complete <laughs> lie because I'm an attorney and all I do is argue with people. Um, although I, I prefer writing more because it's so much more fun to win when you write something. Um, but we're happy to hear and, uh, to stay and talk and ask answer any questions you may have. Um, so if you have any, throw them down in the... Debbie's, the, like, Debbie's like, go to dinner. Like, go, go Debbie's ahead. done with us. Go to dinner, she says. Um, so, I, yeah, if anyone has any questions, please let us know. Happy to answer them. Um, yeah, and, and definitely send us emails. Uh, we are happy to answer any questions you have and work with you. Like, if you do want one uh, customized in some way with the name on it for somebody you want to gift it to, just know that it might take us a little bit of time to do that. But we'd be happy to work with you and get that done uh, if we can. So Yeah, it, it would just take some time in figuring out how to do it and then figuring out where to put it on the device and then how to execute on it so that I'm happy with it because... Yeah, we're we, very, we're kind of Yeah, we, we have, I think we made, we made quite a bit today, but there were 12 or so that didn't pass my final inspection because something was a millimeter off. So um, <laughs> I'm happy to try to customize it, but if I don't feel comfortable with it, then it probably won't ever get sold. Um, okay, Julie, yeah. I will... Um, let me see here. I th oh, yep, I've got an email from, well, hold on, it's loading. Okay, yes, I have an email from you, Julie, so I will respond this evening after I read it. Um, and then we will go from there. All right, well, we are going to head to dinner because Debbie told us we were allowed to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but we're going to head out to dinner, and we appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. We feel incredibly blessed. We feel like this was definitely put in our path uh, for us to reshare again. We're so appreciative of the original owners. And if you haven't heard that story, you could check out the video that went up. Was it yes, just yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Oh my gosh. Um, and check out the story. It was a very abbreviated version of it, as much as it could be with him telling it. Um, so, yeah, we are so, so thankful for each and every one of you. And I just know you guys are going to love this, this ruler. It has been so nice for me to use. And I kept asking him forever if I can use it. And he's like, wait, don't show it in the videos. We want to surprise everyone with what it is. So I listened, but it is amazing. And it's really helped me cut accurately. And I don't have any Band-Aids on right now <laughs> because it, yes. it keeps everything much safer. Um, and then just uh, sort of as a closing, unless anyone else has any questions. So big shout out to um, Earl and Sharon, who were the original owners. Um, thank you for letting us, you know, carry on your tradition with the Quilter Slide Lock. And then really the only reason this came in to be, and again, you can watch the other video, but I'll be very brief. Um, <laughs> I want to say thank you to Lana Dunkerley, who is the owner of It Seems to Be So Quilt Shop in Sugarland, Texas, who is the one that introduced this to us and sort of started this whole thing in motion. I don't so, know if you can delete that. Um, sorry, someone wanted to talk about their flatulence. So I just had to remove that. Um, <laughs> So yes, thank you very much, Lana Dunkerley at uh, it seems to be or yeah, it seems to be so quilt shop in Sugarland. It's probably the greatest quilt shop that I think either of us have been. She's an amazing woman. So if you're in the Houston area and you need quilt stuff, that's where I would recommend you go. I get that Houston is one of those cities where you can drive an hour and still be in Houston. So um, you could be in Houston and live two hours away from her shop, which is similar to what we are. But if you ever need anything, that's the place to go to check it out. So thank you again. Um, all right. Well, I don't see any new questions. So we are <laughs> going to go get washed up because we've been working all day and go get some dinner, I think. Yeah. And if you are in the uh, area, there's some great restaurants around here. So go check those out, too. All right. Well, thank you everyone for indulging us. Um, if you have any questions, um, please email us at info at so be it quilts. Um, and we look forward to serving you in any way we can in the future. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye.